Previously, we've learned how to calculate some of our sample statistics like the mean, variance, and standard deviation by hand using the definition formulas and showing each step. Now I want to show you how to use your calculator to find those statistics as well as the quartiles and a few others when we have a larger data set. So first we're going to go to stat here in the middle of the calculator and edit which is already highlighted, so we're gonna hit enter. When we do that, we're gonna see six lists. So as I scroll to my right here, I'm gonna see list three, four, five, and six. Now, if you don't have all those lists on your calculator, don't worry, I'll show you how to get them back. They're all there, they're just not showing up. So now let's go back to list one and two. So we're gonna scroll to the left here a few times to get back to those first two lists. There was data in my list already, and that's not data I want to use for this example, so I want to get rid of that data. So I'm going to scroll up to the top of the list one here, and I want to clear this list. So I'm going to hit the clear button, and then we have to hit enter to confirm because it wants to make sure you really want to clear that data because those numbers are absolutely gone now. All right, now we're going to move over to list two, and I'm going to show you what not to do. What you don't want to do is come up here to the top of the list and hit delete. If you hit delete, the entire list is gone. Now notice I go from list one immediately to list three. Now list two is not gone, it's just out of sight. So I'm gonna delete list three, four, five, and six to get rid of those you know, columns on my table here. And then we're gonna put back list two next to list one and then list three, four, five, and six so we have them all in order. So I'm just deleting each list. Now next to list one, I want this to be list two. So I'm gonna to go to second function, and then the number two. If you look at the numbers one through six, right above them, you'll see L1, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm telling the calculator I want this list to be list two. And notice it brought back the numbers. When you delete a list, the list is not gone, it's just hidden. So now I wanna make this list three, and then I'm gonna keep moving to the right and put list four, five, and six back so that I now have all six calculator built-in lists in order from left to right. And so we just got to tell it now list four, second function four. When we move to the next list, it'll be second function five. So. Again, notice on those number keys, one, two, three, four, five, six. The secondary function right above them written in blue on my calculator uh, is the list one, two, three, four, five, and six shortcuts. Okay, so now that I've reformatted, so I have all six default lists on my calculator, we're gonna go back to list one and two. We're gonna put in some example data, and then we're gonna calculate our test statistics. So in list one, I'm gonna enter in the numbers in one, two, three, and four, a nice, simple, small sample. So after each number, hit enter and so once I get four here I'm gonna move over to list two and this time I'm gonna do this properly we're gonna go up to the list two name and we're going to clear the list because I want to get rid of this data and replace it with another set of example data so we go up hit clear now notice when you hit clear, the list does not clear. You have to hit enter to confirm that you really wanted to clear this list. All right, so now that those are gone, let's enter in the data 12, 14, 16, and 18. So I'm just making up two small samples, easy to work with. So I have one variable in list one, another variable here in list two, and then we're going to calculate our statistics. So after you get the data entered here, we're going to go back to the statistics key. And so we've entered in the 18. Now I'm going to hit stat again. And it's going to bring back my menu. And now I'm ready to calculate my statistics. So we're going to scroll to the right. And we want to do the one variable statistics. We have two variables. We're going to do each one one at a time. So I want to do list one first. So I got to tell the calculator to do the statistics for list one. So here I'm going to hit second function, then the number one. Again, to tell it list one. 
you want to leave the frequency list blank and the calculate blank. So you can either hit enter twice or scroll down twice. Once you get to calculate it highlighted here, at calculate you want to hit enter and it'll calculate your statistics for you. Okay, so notice we got our sample mean at the top, x bar is 2.5, and as you scroll down, you're going to find other statistics like our quartiles, here's Q1, and then if you scroll down more, you'll find Q2, Q3, and eventually the maximum. So now I want to go back and calculate the statistics for list two. So we're going to go back to the stat menu by hitting the stat key. We're going to go to calculate again because we want to calculate our statistics. One variable statistics is just on the second variable now. Now we have our data 12 through 18 we're in list two so we want to tell the calculator we want the stats for list two. So second function the number two we'll tell it list two. We want to leave the frequency list blank we just have a sample in list two that we want to calculate our stats on. And again, we see our sample mean this time was 15. And as we scroll down a little further, we can find the standard deviation S there. That SX is your sample standard deviation. And as you scroll down, you'll find your quartiles and your median. And eventually Q3 in the maximum. For those of you who have a TI-83 or a TI-84 that's not the Silver Edition Plus, okay, so when you did your one variable statistics, you went to the stat menu, calculate, then hit one variable statistics, you did not see the same menu that I showed you a second ago. So instead, at that point, you would have seen this screen that just says one var stat. So you want to tell the calculator here which list you want to do. So you're going to tell it to do the stats on list one simply by hitting second function L1. Or we could do second function L2 for list two and it'll do the stats on that list. If you have any questions about the topics covered in this video or anything else that's happening in your statistical reasoning class, talk to your instructor, go to their office hours, or take advantage of the free tutoring available in the Math Tutorial Center. Good luck and go Vols!